All right, now that the coupling's been made, my next step is to get red zone protection before I step in between the equipment to lace up the air hoses and open up the anal cock. Now, once the red zone protection has been established, I wanna give it a second or so to make sure that there's gonna be no movement in the cars before I step in between the equipment. All right, when lacing air hoses, I always wanna keep one foot inside the rail and one foot outside the rail. And there's a couple reasons for that. One is that it puts my body in a much more comfortable position to lace up the air hoses. But the second reason, and more importantly, is that it gives me escapability out from in between the equipment in case these cars start to move. Because I'm able to escape a lot quicker with just stepping over with one foot as compared to two feet. All right, now that my feet are properly placed, my next step is to lace up the air hoses. Now there are a few different ways you can lace up the air hoses. The most important thing is to find the one that you're most comfortable with and stick into it. All right, now that I've laced up my air hoses, my next step is to open up the angle cock. Now, before I open up the angle cock, I wanna put my body in the proper position. I can either have my leg up against the air hose or have both my feet outside of the rail. And the reason for this is you wanna be clear of the air hose or have your leg up against the air hose in case it flies apart, you're not putting your body in harm's way. All right, when opening up the angle cock, you wanna open it up extremely slow. And the reason for this is if you open it up too quickly, you're gonna dump the air in the cars in front of you because they think they're going into emergency, which in turn causes the engineer to have to reset the air brake system, which can add quite a few crucial minutes to your move. All right, now there will be some situations where you have both angle cocks 